Look at all that. Look at that build up in her hair. And this is what has been inside her locks all through. Wow. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. You're welcome again to another video in my YouTube channel. Thank you for my returning subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have, if you're not yet a subscriber, please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to be bringing you more of such videos on how to keep your logs and and anything about logs dreadlocks full logs and mini little bit of mini importation okay so my client came in and she had um dreadlocks for about almost two years now and she has been using the interlocking method okay so um i realized that there's a lot of um build up in her locks and her locks are not looking healthy at all so i gave her the option of um considering um starting all over it's okay to start all over when you see that your locks are not healthy and they're not going um the way um you want it's okay to start all over instead of um continuing with the whole process with the with the same um style of doing your logs and keeping it uh, um longer and unhealthy so um another way you can you can still um start over is not just by um taking it out all and and starting all over you can still just continue from where um you stop like you can see there is um um new growth under her hair and from there you can just wash her hair thoroughly and by the way um there's a video in my channel showing you how to wash how to properly wash your dreadlocks and to style it okay so if you've not watched that video do well to go and watch it and i'm going to leave it in this in the notification box up yes up somewhere up on the video and do well to watch it okay so um another i was saying another way you can also um start all over is by let's say you leave your your logs um um for about two to three months without renewal so that there's going to be a lot of um undergrowth new growth rather on your hair and you come back to the salon we give a thorough wash a thorough wash and um retwist and from there you continue with the retweets because my my client was doing the interlocking method and that's why i stopped doing the interlocking method because it keeps a lot of build up in the locks and you know with the product using the pro some kind of products in your locks and then um, interlocking it it keeps those products in there and when you keep your hair for about a month without washing there you see that those things get stuck in it and if you know if you don't wash it properly it's not going to come out so that's why i stopped doing the interlocking method and i i'm not i now do the twisting method so as you can see we, we cut out our locks and and wash her hair tinted her hair and now they're doing the twisting method but no this is not her dreadlocks this is another this is not a new um dreadlocks uh this one is just to let her stay a while let's say a week and let her hair breathe you know and after a week i'm going to start all over with a new dreadlocks method and we're going to be using the twisting met retwisting method for maintenance and with the retwisting method it's easier to wash and maintain so thank you guys for watching if you're not a subscriber please do it to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you 